Welcome back to Verbs, an academic curse. To form the past simple with regular verbs, we are going to add the suffix or ending ed at the end of that regular verb. This form is the same for every subject I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Some examples can be won't, wanted, learn, learned, stay, stayed, walk, walked, show, showed. For verbs that end in an E, we just add D, like change, changed, believe, believed. If the verb ends in a short vowel and the consonant, except for Y or W, we double the final consonant, as in stop and stopped, commit, committed. With verbs that end in a consonant and a Y, the Y is changed to an I, like study, studied, or try, tried. There are many irregular verbs in the English language. Unfortunately, there's no standard rule to learn them all. Next are the three most common irregular verbs in English that also act as auxiliary verbs. The most common irregular verbs that are also auxiliary verbs are do, did, have, had, be, was for subjects I, he, she, and it, and were for subjects you, we, and they. The pronunciation for the suffix ed is different depending on what letter comes before that suffix. In general, the e is silent. With infinitives ending in p, f, k, or s, voiceless consonants except for t, we pronounce the ending ed as t, as in looked and kissed. With infinitives ending in B, G, L, M, N, V, Z, voiced consonants except D, or a vowel, we pronounced only the D, so yelled and cleaned. With infinitives ending in D or T, we pronounce the E as in id, for example, ended and Waited. The structure for a past simple affirmative sentence would be the subject plus the main verb plus the rest of the sentence. For example, she was a doctor. The keys were in the drawer. I wanted to dance. The structure for a negative past simple sentence with the verb to be would be the subject plus to be plus not plus the rest of the sentence. For example, she wasn't a doctor. The keys weren't in the drawer. The verb to have got, which in the present simple uses the same rules as the verb to be, cannot be used in the past simple. To indicate possession in the past, we simply use the verb to have. The structure for a negative past simple sentence with all other verbs would be the subject, plus auxiliary verb to do, plus not, plus the main verb in the infinitive, and then the rest of the sentence. For example, I did not want to dance. They didn't learn English. We didn't believe him. In negative sentences, the auxiliary verb remains in the past, did, and the main verb will remain in the infinitive. The structure for an interrogative past simple sentence with the verb to be would be to be plus the subject, the rest of the sentence, and a question mark. For example, was she a doctor? Were the keys in the drawer? The structure for an interrogative past simple sentence with all other verbs would be auxiliary verb to do plus the subject plus the main verb in the infinitive the rest of the sentence and the question mark. For example, did you want to dance? Did they learn English? Did you believe him? As in negative sentences, the auxiliary verb will stay in the past while the main verb will remain in the infinitive. 
The simple past is used to talk about things that started and ended in the past. Generally, we use it with adverbs of time, like last year, yesterday, last night. Some examples for this could be Tom stayed at home last night. Kate worked last Saturday. I didn't go to the party yesterday. Did they walk to school this morning? The past simple is also used for a series of actions in the past. An example for this could be He studied for an hour in the morning, worked all afternoon, and didn't return home until 10 at night. We also use it for habitual or repeated actions in the past. Examples for this could be We always traveled to Cancun for vacations when we were young. He walked five kilometers every day to work. We also use the past simple for narratives or actions from long periods in the past. Examples for this could be I worked for many years in a museum. She didn't eat meat for years. Finally, we also use it for generalities or facts from the past. Examples for this could be The Aztec lived in Mexico. I played the guitar when I was a child. We just learned about the past simple, one of the most common tenses in the English language. Next class, we are going to start working on the past continuous.